Hi, I'm Caitlin Hunter and welcome to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my Easter 2021 home decor. I hope this inspires you. I just love spring and all the light and bright pastels and florals. I love creating these moments for my family. It brings them so much joy and gets them excited for the season. I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you coming back and your support. If you are not already, follow me on Instagram at Mrs. Caitlin Hunter. I post more to my stories there daily. And that is all guys. I hope you enjoy this and I'm excited for some videos that I have coming up. I'm going to be doing a, my baby girl nursery tour and um, home office um, little remodel. And then we've got a new investment property we're going to be doing some projects in. And so there's a lot coming up and I am excited. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it inspires you. Thank you and happy Easter. Okay, so we're going to start over here in the entryway where I had in mind to do kind of this story of Peter Rabbit. And um, over here we have Grandpa Bunny, I'm calling him, and he's so cute. He's got his little glasses and his book, and he's reading to all the little baby bunnies over here the story of Peter the Rabbit, these little moss bunnies. And they're underneath this whimsy floral tree of cherry blossoms and roses and some little Easter eggs inside. And then over here on the right we have Peter Rabbit himself. This guy is so awesome. He is so sparkly and I just love him. He's got a little bag of carrots and um, when trying to figure out where to place him I thought it'd be cute to put him in a basket with a bunch of like carrots and greenery and I have this little cabbage over here, all of his little goodies. And I used the pink basket to balance out all the other pink that I have going on. And then below him I have this little hopping down the bunny trail sign. I actually made this last year in quarantine. I was pregnant and didn't really want to like go out and buy much and um, so I looked at what I had and got creative and this is what I made. I had it outside last year but um, I'm not really putting much outside this year. We've just, I don't know, this year's been so windy outside and I keep having to reset my decor. You know what, I'll just show you what I mean a reef on the door. I, it's been so windy guys. It's hard to decorate anymore outside. Um, but I love this tulip reef. I special ordered it um, and I added this moss bunny a few years back. I've had it for a while now. And then I have this little welcome sign on our doorbell that keeps flying off. And then on this urn I added in this cute little bunny hat that I got at Walmart with bunny ears. And then flanking the door I have two of these little bunnies. I got a great deal. On a few years back, see, there, it fell. Proof. So here in our niche, which I'm still working on, I've always, this has always been an awkward place to decorate for me, um, I have this little pink tulip moment and pink bunny on a candlestick, and um, the tulips are on this tray with crystal feet and this is a big mercury glass or cracked glass um, Easter egg and I just love the pink and the sparkly pops and then up top I just have some um, boxwood balls and uh, I stuck some uh, bunny ears in there to make like a little bunny um, I actually got that idea from something I saw at Hobby Lobby and I was like oh I have plenty of boxwood balls that I can just go ahead and do that myself Okay, so over here on our kitchen island, I have this little moment going on. This tray is actually a cutting board that my mom got for me from World Market. And I ended up adding these crystal legs to it because I wanted it raised because I have it positioned in front of our sink. And um, up top I have this little gnome and he's got some bunny ears and little bunny slippers. And he is on a cake stand that's a bunny holding it up. And then over here I have this coffee cup and it's got a little bunny ear topper and says peep peep. And then next to that is this little bunny vase that, it's actually a canister, that's the lid for it and I'm using it as a vase this year. 
and I got it a few years back on clearance after Easter, I think from Tuesday morning. And then here, I think they're kind of like uh, pampas grass, but I'm not really sure. I got this two years ago, and pampas grass wasn't even the popular thing then. Um, again, I got this on clearance after Easter, and I just love the pinks and the whites. It's my kind of pinks and whites. And I think this is just a cute little pop of Easter on our kitchen island. In our dining room, I just had this simple little Easter bunny moment, like Easter bunnies in a meadow with some Easter eggs and carrots. And these are the bunnies from the dollar spot at Target. I just put them in my bread bowl with some moss and um, these little eggs and um, carrots. The glittery eggs are from Dollar Tree and the, um, the carrots are from Walmart. They're actually picks and I just took the sticks out the bottom of them. But I think this is a cute little moment in this dough bowl and it's not too overwhelming. Also, I have these little pink candles in place. Here in the corner of the dining room, I have this little moment. It's like really two planners that I connected together, and one just has that with steer gray hanging from it. And then in this bottom one, I have some tulips poking out and some Easter eggs, and then there's two little bunnies. One's a little glittery pink one, the other one's just white, and they look cute. And then I have this little table over here where we usually put our games and stuff and I just did a cookie jar with some more of those eggs in it. And these two little candy dispensers are from um, the Dollar Tree actually. And I put some candy I had left over from decorating a cake in them. And then this little Happy Easter sign and two little moss bunnies and this little chick. That's actually, it was a gift and it like it can move or it walks and the kids get a kick out of that. So, that is the corner of the dining room. Here in our living room, I have this little moment in this plant that I made. I'll show the TikTok on the screen. I made this little TikTok of, uh, it's just a bunny poking out of the dirt and it's looking for carrots. All it is is like a big cottontail, little cottontail, and then I print out those feet and cut them out. And then I just have this little jar of carrots down here. It was a egg, a mercury glass egg, but I ended up breaking the top and I thought it'd just be cute to display some carrots and this cute little bunny. Okay, so this is by far my favorite Easter moment. Um, as a side note though, really quick, this fireplace saved our lives in the freeze that we had last month. Um, and you can see it's a little worse for the wear. Um, we will be touching that up, but man, this was a blessing. So anyway, what I was going for in the fireplace was uh, like a garden, bunnies playing in the garden type theme. And I'll take you through each element. So you've already just seen, I have these gnomes and I actually have had the white and silver one for quite some time now. And I saw the other little ones at Dollar Tree and I love gnomes and I was like, I have to have these. So I got them and they work out well here. And then over here in this urn, I have this beautiful white bunny that actually got on closeout because she's supposed to be holding a sign and it was missing for whatever reason. So it was a great deal and she was yellow and I ended up, I wanted her more pure white so I ended up painting her this glossy white and I even added some shimmer to her. And um, she's just so cute, I love her. And she's in this urn with some baby eucalyptus and some pink flowers and these silver Easter eggs. And then that's her little egg purse. I think it's so cute. <laughs> so then here, this banner. I saw another YouTuber had this banner and I asked her where she got it from and she said Home Goods. And um, I went there and of course mine didn't have it. So I couldn't get it off my mind. It just, I thought it fit perfectly here. So I ended up going on Amazon and I found this Easter banner that was gold. And um, I ordered it and I was maybe going to keep the gold, but then when I started to do this project, I decided I wanted it silver. So I mod podged some silver glitter on it, and I made these little bunnies that came with it. This pink color, kind of like a rosy pink. And then just to make the flags that they're on, the moss flags, I got moss sheets from um, Hobby Lobby, and I traced out an old birthday Fortnite banner, and that's what the back of this is. And um, just glued it all together and it works out great and we're not going to use that birthday banner again because I don't know, Fortnite's just not the thing anymore apparently. <laughs> Over here 
I have a little Easter egg hanging. I just love these little, kind of like a Fabergé egg. Um, fancy Easter egg. And then up top we have our little bunnies and they're playing in these wisteria vines and pink cherry blossoms. And um, this bunny is from Hobby Lobby this year. I like the stone look of it. And this bunny in the middle I got at Joann's last year and I just thought it was adorable with the feet up in the air. And it's funny because right now it reminds me of our baby girl because she always like has her feet in her face and sometimes in her mouth, but it's fun. I also mix in some tulips and some purple flowers and silver Easter eggs. And then there's another one of those little bunnies from Hobby Lobby to balance it out. And then another one of those Easter eggs that looks like a Fabergé egg. And here we are coming back out. And I just love this moment, guys. Let me know what you think. Okay, so then here on our coffee table tray, I try to keep it simple because of everything that's going on on the fireplace with the cherry blossoms. So I did this ginger jar here, this white ginger jar with um, these white, they kind of look like cherry blossoms too, but I'm not sure they are. I got them at um, Michael's this year. And then I have these white tulips in this vase here. And then over here, I just love this little dude with the glasses on and just a little bunny hat and it's kind of distressed from, um, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby last year. And then there's my Pottery Barn candle that I love and our remote ceramic crystal bowl. So that's our coffee table tray and this is kind of the view when you're sitting on the couch. Love it. The only thing I did on our built-ins is this little moment I put lit bunny ears and the topiary ball and again I got that idea from Hobby Lobby something they were selling and um, I was like I can totally recreate that and then I just had these little this little picture of this bunny and she's got some little flowers on her head and in her butt <laughs> I guess that was cute but yeah if you saw my built-ins video I'm trying to keep it simple so I want to keep most of the decor just what it is year-round so that's this little area way to our master is pretty simple. I just have this vase of peonies with some bumblebees popping out and um, I moved some of the stuff from Valentine's over here and uh, some little bunnies and that's about it for Easter right here and I just have one more spot to show you and then I'll be done. At the top of our stairs I just have this little bunny and um, some pink and white cherry blossoms and a pink base and I just added this mirror recently and it looks kind of like a window and it balances out the other windows in the um, living room. And just a simple moment up here. And that's it guys, thank you for watching.